Welcome to Lading and Quickie. I'm Becky here with Jack and Kelty. Good day. Oh my God. Kelty's excited. I know. What is this going to be? What is this? Is this is a problem? What? What? You're look at go, don't, don't, look at Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Her hair is caught. Up Your hair mic. is so long and beautiful. It's giving. It's giving like Shit. Britney Spears at the MTV Awards. Like ah no, you guys. Like got caught. Britney. Know. No, mm -mm. I'm not talking about it. Why? We can't talk about it. We can talk about it. Is what do you want to say? <laughs> yeah, I am. You're nervous. What do you want to say about Brittany? It's just very sad yeah. that her social media. There was a video recently of her making getting a dress sent to her, and it's sad. Yeah, it's really hard for the generation that loves Brittany. You know, yeah, because you want people to be frozen in time. We we we. <laughs> what anal leakage? No, it's just hot. Sorry, I thought my like leg was on fire. Is that your butthole? Is that hot? Wow. Sorry. It's really hard for Brittany because like you just want her to be okay. And I don't know. I, even if she is okay, like if this is her normal, if this is her new normal after all the trauma she's been through, like this is really hard too. Yeah. Anyways. On that point, on that Whoa. note, I'm going to make a switch change here. Okay. So I found the fucking most hilarious quiz that we're going to take today. And I want everyone to take this quiz. If it's possible, we, we should put this up online. I want you guys to take it with like your best friend or your husband. Mm -hmm. So this is a one out of 10. So we're going to rate ourselves mm. oh God. on these attributes okay. cool. out of 10 okay. ourselves. Okay. Yeah. You're going to rate yourself. Not each other. <laughs> no. Because then that would be the last episode ever of Lady Gang. I doubt it. We're we all know our flaws. Yeah. That's true. We're we're going to um, do a, I'm, I'm giving myself a this and this is why. Okay. And then we're going to post. Should we all give a golf clap if we agree? Yeah. yeah. We'd be like, <laughs> for all in favor, say I. And then for all in favor, yeah. say nay. We have to be able to agree or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're great not. Um, and so then I want everyone at home to do this because I think it's very interesting because we're all nutso bananas mm -hmm. and the self awareness is not there. No, it's not at, for anyone. No. Is do you get Although, a score at the end? No, there's no score. Uh oh, it's just. So it says, be honest. You judge everyone you meet. We all do. How about judging yourself for a change? Ooh, I love Where this. Where are you finding these things? You know what? Shazam. I'm just Shazam. Buzzfeed. I'm just. <laughs> I am just literally scouring the world mm. for things to talk to you about okay. at this point. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. All right. So number one, one out of 10, we'll start with Becca Tobin. Mm -hmm. Becca Tobin, at one out of 10, how honest are you? Honesty. Like one being the least, 10 being the most. most. Does this include white lies? Mm. I think, yes. I think it's all honesty. A six. Hmm. Oh, Ooh. I tell a lot of white lies. Do you? To protect people's feelings. Okay. In the, in the name of goodness. <laughs> an example. Here's an example. This is f***ed up, actually. No, it's not. Actually, I would love for people to tell me if this is f***ed up. Okay. Because I'm having... Well, there's there's two things that I'm actually <laughs> struggling, really struggling with. Number one, I hate my handwriting so, 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 so much. I'm very insecure about it. Oh. So I was in the process of ordering some gift, some thank you notes and having them sent out to our lovely Chelsea and sending her a Google doc of exactly what I wanted every thank you note for Ford's first birthday party to say. Oh, that's cute. Signed by my, me and Ford and Zach. And Zach overheard this going down and he's like, I'm sorry, what the f are you doing? And I said, I'm outsourcing the thank you cards because I don't like my handwriting and I would really like to do this. And he's like, that is so awful. Like, that's like, you're lying. That's a lie. Like that's, that's not being truthful. And I'm like, but is it? No. Okay. It's not a lie. It's just dumb. Why is it dumb? <laughs> Cause no, well, nobody because cares. Nobody cares, cares. You Becca. can't read it. I you, can read your why, handwriting. Why can't Zach do it? He's not going to do it. He offered. That's That was oh. the compromise. Oh, that's nice. He was like, let me just do it. And I'm like, great, cool. So then everyone's going to be like, oh, she's a deadbeat mother. Look at her husband. <laughs> had the right thing. You know, it's anyways, whatever. Fine. It's uh, there you go. See, that's one of the things that I was like, this is absolutely fine. It's my words, my thoughts, just my saying, sentiments. What yeah. about a stamp set? With a th No, she's writing like, like, thank you so much. You. It's the most thoughtful gift for the. Blah blah blah, 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 blah. Like I want it. I do actually want to thank them oh. for thoughtful gifts, but I don't want to do it in my awful doctor handwriting. Second example. So sorry to make this about me. I don't think that's a lie. 
Okay, that's you, not a that's lie. But you're saying lie. honest, honesty, honesty. That's, okay, it's all. It's not dishonest. That's not a lie. You're so, not like I'm five when you're twelve. Yeah, you know. So here's my other thing. I really, I really have a hard time when people come to my house and stay for more than three or four nights. I, mm. I struggle with that a mm. lot. So, I will often make up things that I have to do, I will bookend it. So if people are thinking of coming for a long weekend and they suggest maybe pushing their trip all the way to like next week. Yeah. yeah. You'd be like, I'm so sorry. I have to fly out. Yeah. Yeah. And there's like gotten to the point sometimes where I'm, I'm packing a fake suitcase in there <laughs> and I'm loading it into my car and I'm driving out the gates and it's like, it's, get the f- out of my house. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is- I'm going to put you at five. But like, what no, else am I supposed are, to say? But, but here's the thing. None of these lies are not the first one. It's wasn't saving even a lie. somebody from their, the second one. It's, it's, I don't want to hurt your feelings. But also like people should know that they shouldn't be staying at somebody's house for longer than a couple days. Like that's this where, it's is like, you where we differ because yeah. you, why you would just let them stay till whenever. No, I, I'm like, I get full, I out people after three days. So three days, my sister's coming from London and yeah. I was like, three days is my max. And you just, cause like emotionally. I just straight out said that. I said, yeah. after three days, I'm not fun. Yeah. But Becca, you're more direct than Becca. I know. <laughs> it would be so like, weird. I'm already a tough pill to swallow. Mm-hmm. If I were to also be getting real honest like that, yeah. I'd just be an awful person. I think. No, I think that you've just learned the ways to pad situations that yeah you're right it's like you have little white lies to like save like when the relationships when boys would come when i'd be dating a boy and i didn't want it to continue and i didn't want to hurt his feelings i would say oh you know what I, an ex and i have reconnected no I that's know. the best lie that you've lie. ever given those are lie. the lies that i tell right yeah okay okay i love that so um, six honesty i'm gonna give you this is what's hard for me is that i'm a big fraud um <laughs> this is true we did learn something today which at, will literally will be buried through our work in at, our the biggest fraud of all time but at the same time <laughs> but at the same time i will tell you a hard truth yeah. yes oh yeah so yeah. i'm i'm torn like i i'm gonna put myself a five but just know that what i am is a one and a ten yes i'm not in the middle Mm-mm. i literally am either fucking literally well and i did this <laughs> illegally immigrated into the united states <laughs> <laughs> And getting a cell phone at a bodega in Queens yeah. and then calling the cell phone company pretending to be my friend Jeff Gaddy's grandmother who had a U.S. passport so that we could sign up for phone plans. And they were like, when were you born? And I was like, 1938. Like, <laughs> Anyway, I'm either that person yes. or I'm like, here's my feelings right now. Here's exactly what's happening. Here's a hard. Or you'll be like, you need yeah. blush. Yeah. yeah. No, you're, yeah, you're again, direct, direct, yeah. very direct yeah. and shady. I'm All either a fraud or fraud. So you're a criminal. I'm a criminal. I'm but a psychopath. That's very you. You're very extreme. Yeah. Yeah. It's one or the other and yeah. none in between. No, uh, I'm, uh, there's no wish you want. You never know. Like, Ooh, you're like, oh, yeah. it's either completely fraudulent <laughs> or you know what's happening. Or you get, yeah. you see what you get. Yeah. Yeah. But you've been fraudulent like to, my whole life to the lady gang success. Like that's yeah. When I'm like, it's the most popular female podcast. It's in not the entire world. It's never well, that's been subject subjective right? No. but it is popular people stop me all the time no it is but like it's not subjective like there's quantifiable but we don't know the other people's that's true right and the algorithm <laughs> apple is not dependable that's yeah true. so okay jack? jack um i would say that i'm pretty honest for the most part mm-hmm. the only time that i ever like tell a little white lie i think i might have talked about this before is i i use my different jobs to yes to get my, out of other shit yeah mm-hmm. like i'll and i and now it's filming very, with other first degree can't talk right now i'm like <laughs> and she's like shut shut shut, shut. <laughs> yeah. well I, my my partner on the first degree loves to drink at 10 a.m so Great. not mm-hmm. wrong and now i i use jared's profession also to my advantage yes i'm like oh i just i can't come to your birthday party because i have to go visit jared yeah. on tour like mm-hmm. it's gonna be the only time i can see him like mm-hmm. you just never know but it's nice because because I can use everything as a pad for other things in my life. Like oh yeah. Small chess pieces. When your job is so vague. Yeah. Like my friends don't know if I work 40 hours a week or two. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way to know. Some, should some, I tell them? <laughs> don't, don't tell them. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Generosity is next. Becca. 10. Wow. I'm a 10. 
I literally, <laughs> Callie started growling. Uh, no one's golf clapping. No, I, this is something that I was thinking about the other day because someone was talking shit about um, someone being a bad tipper, like some celebrity. Oh no, you definitely always overpay. Yeah. I, if you're so scared of people not liking you, you will tip No, pay it's over. Gen, it's never, it's actually <clears throat> never about people liking me. Mm. No, that's a lie. Of course, sometimes it is. Yep. Yeah. But no, it, it's like. I think when you make good money and it comes easy, mm -hmm. you realize how unfair it is mm -hmm. that like I get to work an hour and make X and mm -hmm. this person's working an hour and makes mm -hmm. works way harder and yeah. makes X. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have it's Jewish guilt, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it promotes a lot of generosity. It Like I always say that if I get my next big job, like I joke mm -hmm. with Zach, he's like, you're going to buy Mariana a car, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Like that's all I've been saying for the past eight years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I probably would. Yeah. No, I love that. I love, um, well, the thing about tipping and all that, there's obviously now you can tip literally everywhere. Oh, like yeah. Everywhere is asking for a tip. Yeah, it's hard. But I have that same thing too, where it's just like, I, it's so much harder for the person that's working that job that it's like that 20% might mean nothing to me and like everything to somebody else. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like, if you have that mindset, I don't know why I'm talking about tipping specifically, but like, yeah. Well, yeah. Generosity with money. Yeah. I'm cautiously generous. Like if you're in yeah. or if am, you're yeah. a place I support, like a charity I support, or you're one of my people, I will throw down for you. Yeah, that is true. But, but sometimes if you come to me and you say, knock, 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 and that's why I like living on this driveway because no one ever knocks at my front door. But it's like, knock, knock, knock. I'm here with the Canadian Heart Association canvassing. I'll be like, I'm not ready to donate at this time. I haven't done my investigation. I don't know where the money goes. Yeah. Like, I don't know you. Like, yeah. I like to, I'm intense about it. Yeah. I feel like I'm the same. Like, I'm generous for the people that I love and that I know, but I'm not really generous. I could be strangers. more generous to strangers. I could be too. But sometimes I do pay for people's groceries that are behind me where if they're just getting three things, I'm like, just get hers or like the coffee. Mm -hmm. Like the other day I was in a pay coffee shop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You pay it forward, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is not being generous. It's Jared just hates being, that. You do? The pay it forward coffee. Why? <laughs> oh, cause you don't want to break the chain. <laughs> well, he's just like, dude, I don't, no, want to do I don't think you should break the chain. I don't think that's the point of of paying it forward. No, there was a woman who was at Coffee Bean the other day and her card wouldn't work and she was clearly a tourist. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, is your card not working? She's like, I don't know. I'm like a tourist. It's like, it's not where I was like, I got it. And like got her coffee. She, yeah. she was like, can I Venmo? I was like, no, it's fine. Yeah. I am God. <laughs> I'm so generous. Yeah. Okay, next. Forgiveness. Ooh, one out of 10. Becca. You didn't do your generosity. Yeah, yeah she did. did. I mean, oh, she, well, okay. she didn't give it a number. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Fine. Forgiveness. Um, forgiveness. Isn't that the song from um, Ryan Reynolds when he's a fat person and on a... Oh, Real Friends? Or Just Friends? <laughs> yeah, 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 Real yeah. Friends. And he's wearing a fat suit. And yeah. I didn't see it. Just Friends. Okay, anyways, oh my yes. God, that movie's yes, so, so good. Funny. It's Anna Ferris movie. sings a song. It's called Forgiveness. It's so funny. Okay, yeah. anyway. Um, for uh, What is the topic? Forgiveness. One out of oh. ten. Uh, quick forgiveness. I am a two. Ooh. And then... But I will, ninety nine percent of the time, completely forgive over time. Mm. I will amputate you time. from my life. She needs to. I will hold a grudge. I will see you and hear your name, and I will feel it in my bones, <laughs> and be f and mad, and be happy when bad things happen to you. But then, <laughs> give me time, and I am perfectly fine. Devil's advocate. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm being honest here. No, I like yeah, it. I, I really like, like it, Jack. <laughs> um depending on the situation, like, I don't know where I am on the scale, but like, depending on the situation, like I will forgive, but I will literally never forget. Mm. Or I will forget why I'm mad at you, but I won't for like, I'll be so mad. I'm like, I know I'm yeah. mad at this person and they f me over in the past. I don't know why, but I forgot. Yeah. So yeah. I'm like either or. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I like that a lot, actually. Yeah. That's very you. I'll forgive and not forget, or I'll forget, forget and, and not, not forgive. forgive. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's not a t-shirt. Damn. Forgiveness. I, um, I, I, 
I think it takes a lot for you to, to even feel be like you need to forgive someone. Yeah. Yeah. Like I don't like, even care about do... people enough <laughs> yeah. to care. Yeah. <laughs> to get mad it in takes the first place. A, yeah. It takes a lot for me to be like truly pissed. Yeah. And then when I am, I will forgive. Like I pretty much forgive. Like I, I don't, but I'm very spiteful. Yeah. So like if you me over, I'll You're forg- petty. I'll, I'm petty. <laughs> like I'll forgive you and it's fine. But like, I'm still thinking about Linda Haberman not hiring me back for my final season of the Rockettes. Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. been 15 years and was the greatest thing that ever happened to me because I got into TV and like we're in my house. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, and so, but I'm still like, when I go to the Christmas spectacular every year, hope I run into Linda and I can see <laughs> I her. I still feel that way see, about yeah. some people. You know, like, from I can my see past how like great that. I am. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm very petty <laughs> about people who me about like stupid shit i'll never get over yeah. it's like the stupidest have stuff have you forgiven your work nemesis <sighs> i mean no i mean yes i've forgiven but i haven't forgotten mm. oh you know what i mean like i've forgiven i don't care i don't think about it but like if i saw you on the street i wouldn't not push you down the stairs oh <laughs> you know what i mean okay this feels like like if I the same thing no, here's what I'm the same thing as you the same thing as you I feel like I will curse your name and I will feel that in my bones mm-hmm. of like Ugh. Yeah. but I'm never getting to the point like you where you forgive and then you're like it's cool yeah. yeah like I'm just holding on to like I don't really care but I like I don't want you to do well yeah yeah I feel like that's I'm happy healthy I'm happy. So I I'm happy to watch you your life burn in flames. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's casual. Same. What right? I realized but I think that's normal. Like yeah. it's it takes like a special type of person to like truly forgive somebody for being somebody over so much. Yeah. I guess yeah. it depends on what the thing is. But like as humans, I don't think we're like designed to completely forgive. forgive 100%. No, we're like you have to out for number one. Yeah, well, it's, yeah. It's like survivalism. My, yeah. I realize that my knee jerk reaction, I'm the worst person that's ever walked the planet. And then if you give me time, mm-hmm. I can be pretty close to perfect. Mm. Wow. <laughs> wow. That is a TikTok sound. I hope we pull that yeah. and we're going to make that a TikTok. And by perfect, I mean perfect. perfect. Perfectly evolved. Like, uh, you know what I mean? Like done the work mm. is all the people talking about doing the work. And oh I God. think that's why after someone me over i want them to literally burn in hell yeah and then but then the reason i can come back later and be like we're good genuinely we're good is because they're i know in my soul that they've that they're human you know they're human and everyone's entitled to up and do bad things right yeah that's true so very true okay last one loyalty oh Mm. i'm pretty low on the scale (laughs) really (laughs) yeah like not, I mean, I just think it's a weird thing. It's a weird term when people are like, yeah, I look like for loyal loyalty in my friends. I'm like, I'm sorry if you do something bad or stupid. Like I, I'm not like a ride or die. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, yeah. I'll ride until it's cool for me. Yeah. And it, as soon as it's not, it's bumpy. Yeah. I'm going to give you a second to get it smooth again. But yeah. if you can't get it together, I'm out. Yeah. Okay. So I would put that as like I, a two. I'm a two. <laughs> I am. I, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Jack? I'm loyal to the people that I love and I care about. But again, yeah, if somebody is going to do something shitty to you, yeah. it's like, I'm not just going to stick around because I'm a loyal person. Like you yeah. have to earn somebody's loyalty, I feel like. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'm very loyal to my oldest friends. It's the same. But I have learned that I have been hurt and burned by being too loyal in the past yeah. to people that didn't believe, like, especially this whole thing. We've talked about this before, like this whole, like my work family, like mm-hmm. I was so loyal to my work family yeah. that I almost killed myself. Do you know what I mean? Like I was just not even a human. And it was like, because my family really needed me, but like, you weren't loyal to me. No. You know what I mean? No. So like, I'm well, not going to be you're lo- also in a situation where it's like, it's, you're competing with each other and yeah, you it's will ex- climb over each other if you have to. Yeah. So I'm just like, I'm loyal to like husband, family and like the friends and then like myself, which I think is a really important thing. Mm -hmm. And then everyone else, like I'll do the work that I need to do for this job or this money or this thing or this contract or this email. And Mm -hmm. I'll help you out. Even if you're an acquaintance of a friend of a person. Oh my God, Becca lives in Austin. Maybe she can help you find a restaurant. Yes. I'll help you find a restaurant. Send them my way. Okay. (laughs) But I'm not, I have to go out of town that day. (laughs) (laughs) My suitcase is in the car. She's on the way to the airport. Anyway. Okay. Wasn't this so fun? It was delightful. 
Okay, great. So we figured out we're pretty good people. And I'm not. <laughs> we weren't here for a long time, but we were here, here for, for a good, good time. time.